Alright, so what I'm going to show you guys today is how to use the IAC driver to set up mini maps in Ableton Live. What we're going to do is you're going to go into Spotlight, click on Audio MIDI Setup, search for it, and then click on Window and Show MIDI Window. Here's where your IAC driver is located. Double click on that, and it'll open up your Properties menu. What the IAC driver does is it enables um, MIDI apps to transfer information to each other. So if you have a MIDI keyboard app, you could send its MIDI data to a MIDI synthesizer app. Or what we're going to do is basically we're actually going to send MIDI from Ableton into the IAC driver and then back into Ableton. So it, Ableton is actually controlling itself. What we're going to do is, in order to do that, we're going to click on this little plus button. It'll create a new port. And we're going to make sure the device is turned online. Once we're done with that, we'll go back into Ableton, and we're going to go into our preferences. And the shortcut for that is command comma. And it'll probably end up, it doesn't matter where it is, but you'll have to click on MIDI sync preference. And under MIDI port, in the input and output, you'll see the IAC driver. Make sure that track and remote are both turned on. We'll get back out of that. And then we're going to go into arrangement view over here. Let's get rid of the audio. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a stop marker. Um, what we'll do is we'll highlight a section of the arrangement and we'll click on insert mini clip. We'll go into the clip overview and create a note within that clip. So now what this is basically is it's going to act as the, the MIDI note that will send the information to wherever we need it to go in Ableton Live. In order to MIDI map this note, we'll go back into session view. We can do it in both under the options here or the options here. Under here you can see that it says MIDI 2. So we're going to go in here and click on the IAC driver. So now what this will do is it'll actually, as it plays this note, it'll send the MIDI out of live back into the IAC driver and then back into Ableton Live. So first we're going to go into our MIDI map mode, which the shortcut for that is Command M. We're going to start playing back here. And then what we'll do is as soon as it gets here, we're going to click on the stop guy, the stop button. And as soon as it gets to this, it will MIDI map to the stop button. See? Okay, so we'll stop that. And we'll get out of MIDI map mode. Same shortcut as getting into it. And then when you play it, it actually stops the track. We can delete that. We can use it to turn on and off the metronome. So we'll do the same thing, we'll click, we'll start the track there, we'll click on the metronome, and I'll send that there. So now, when we're playing, we'll go back here, and what it'll do is it'll actually turn on the metronome. We can actually copy this over there, and it'll turn off the metronome. Anything that's programmable, we can use the IAC driver to minimap. Ableton to itself. And there you have it.